Hello, this is Music Tech Help Guy, and welcome to this video tutorial on how to rewire Ableton Live into Logic Pro. Uh, what I'll cover in this video is how to take MIDI data on a track in Logic, send it to an instrument in, uh, in Ableton Live, and then send the output of that instrument back to Logic. So uh, if you're like me, uh, I love some of Ableton's sounds, but I'm not really a fan of its interface. I'm not f a fan of editing MIDI data in there and, and all that good stuff. Uh, I'd much rather do it in Logic, but still be able to use some of the cool sounds uh, that Ableton has. Um, so the way this is done is you have to first... Uh, open up Logic, and then open up Ableton Live. I've already opened it up here in the background. And it's, it's really important that you open up Logic first, then you open up Ableton Live, because Ableton Live will open up as a rewire slave to Logic. So let's go back to Logic. Um, we have to create a type of track called an external MIDI track. An external MIDI track is a little bit different than a software instrument in that, uh, well, it's similar that you can you can put MIDI data on it, you can edit MIDI data. Uh, what you can't do is you can't put a software instrument on it. Um, so the other thing you can, well, what you what you can actually do with an external instrument uh, MIDI inst uh, MIDI track is that you can send MIDI data outside of Logic to maybe a hardware synthesizer, an external hardware synth. Or you can route it from platform to platform. In this case, we're going to be sending our MIDI data uh, to Ableton Live. So let's create an external MIDI track. Um, it says Grand Piano right now. It's set up in GM mode. As long as you opened up Ableton Live second uh, after opening up Logic, uh, Ableton Live will show up here in your uh, media library. And you can click on this. It says to MIDI. Now, the reason why it says to MIDI is if we go back to Ableton, we'll see that there is a track labeled number two, and it's a MIDI track. By default in live, when you create a new session, um, it creates one audio track and one MIDI track. A MIDI track is much like an instrument track in, in Logic. We can put synthesizers on it. Um, so let's find a patch from our instrument library here on the left. Let's use the... Um, Morphing glass, sure that'll work. And I'm just gonna drag and drop, whoop, drag and drop that right on my MIDI track. The next thing we need to do is we need to uh, make the output of our operator. This is the instruments they call the op it's called operator. Um, I'm gonna make our operator track here go to a rewire bus so that we can send the audio signal of the track back to Logic. So uh, what we have to do is down here at the bottom of the channel strip where it says audio two. And by the way, if you don't see this, you can just click IO on the right side of the screen here to show or hide it. Uh, audio two says master. That means we're going to our master output. So we click on that and we say rewire out. What we get is a list of a whole bunch of different re rewire buses that we can use to send the audio signal from this operator track back to logic. And so for now, we're just going to pick bus three and four. Now, the cool thing about this is you can actually uh, rewire multiple Ableton instruments back to multiple tracks in Logic, which is really cool because you can separate the mix of them. Um, and if you were doing that, you would create another MIDI track, choose a different instrument, and you just choose a different bus, maybe five or six or seven, eight, and so forth, up to 64 of them. All right, so we've got our instrument here, and this is this is the great thing about doing it this way. This is all we have to do in Ableton. We don't have to use its editor. We don't have to use the uh, the set or the arrangement view at all. Um, it we can just tap into its instruments, but use Logic's MIDI editing capabilities. All right, so we set that up. Let's go back to Logic. Um, now, under the Ableton Live folder, under Media Library, it says two pad. Morphing Glass, that's the name of the patch that we chose. So we can choose that. Um, it doesn't really change the name of the track over here, but if you hadn't cho chosen that already, here, we'll try something else. There we go. Well, never mind, it still names it too many, but I'm just going to call this, um, I'll call it Morphing Glass. If we were to select this before we had selected anything else, it would have taken the name of the patch uh, rather than the name of the track from before, but that's okay. Um, so, okay, so now what we can do is we can play and record MIDI data on this track, and any MIDI data on this track will be sent to Ableton Live, 
and sent to that morphing glass track in Ableton Live. The problem is we still have to do one more thing to make the audio signal from Ableton come back to Logic. And the way we do that is we go into our mixer. And right now there's nothing in the mixer because there's no software instruments and there's no audio instruments. External MIDI tracks do not show up in the mixer. Uh, we have to create an aux track, an aux, uh, auxiliary channel strip in uh, Logic. And the way you do this, is click on this little plus button here. And we'll say, yes, we want one stereo aux track. And we don't want its input to be input one and two. We want it to be Ableton Live. Ableton Live will show up from the inputs here as long as it's open. And bus three and four. Rewire, RW is rewired bus three and four. So this is that same list of rewire buses that we uh, saw before. And so let's just choose that. And we say create. And there we go. So again, when I hit record on Morphing Glass, it's sending a MIDI signal over to live. And then live is sending back an audio signal on this aux track. And if I were to bounce this project out, this aux track's uh, signal will be included in the bounce. Also, you can add effects and things here up on your inserts. Uh, all right, so let's try this out. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, instead of using um, Command 2 to bring up the mixer, whoops, Command 2 to bring up the mixer, I'm going to hit X to bring up the mixer in the uh, in the edit window down here so we can see the output here and what I'm doing up here at the same time. So I'm just going to arm my uh, MIDI track, external MIDI track, and I'm just going to hit R to record something. Let's see how this goes. Well, it wasn't the uh, it wasn't the most exciting patch in the world, but uh, well, it worked. Um, and the cool thing is uh, that if I don't like that patch, all I simply have to do is go back to live, open up live. And by the way, I'm just minimizing; I'm not closing it. And we can choose a different patch, or we can tweak the synthesizer in some way, and we can choose a different instrument, and that instrument will play back here on the Sox track. So I hope that helped out. Um, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comments section below. Thanks.